cold beer, good crawfish, and good friends. This man is a national treasure. <laughs> His name? Damn, that's good. Well, I'll let him introduce himself first. Hi, right, this is Toot. That's the lady of my life. And she likes to go riding a boat and go fishing. Every now and then she falls in the water. <laughs> and who are you? But I'm Jack M. Ray, better known as Skeeter, or they call me sometimes the godfather of the bayou. Mm -hmm. We try to own up to what we are. If we feel like doing it, we do it. If we don't feel like doing it, we don't do it. We get up in the morning, if we feel like doing something, we go do it. If we don't feel like doing nothing, we don't do nothing, we get us a cold beer. Skeeter invited us over to cook some Louisiana crawfish, Cajun style. In the middle of all the action and antics, I sat Skeeter down to see if he could give any advice to my audience about life, love, and how to be happy in this crazy, crazy world. What, what are the responsibilities of a real man? Ooh, there's a lot. <laughs> and at the end, we get a great recipe on how to fry fresh squirrel brains. Is, is squirrel good eating, Skeeter? That squirrel is very, very good eating. You got to know how to clean that. You cut all the eyebrows, you pop the eyeballs. But first, here are the juicy stuff. nuggets of Cajun wisdom, dripping in spice and sass, straight from the mouth of a legend of the bayou. One for you, sir. Thank you, sir. My water. You. you got a lighter? Okay, so let's adjust these cameras a little bit. So one of the one of the questions I got was, uh, I asked my audience like on Instagram and yeah, and they said they'd love to hear you talk about what what the key to happiness is. A lot of us struggle to be happy, especially as day and age. Do you have any advice on how to be happy? Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Keep a clean head, and don't worry. The more you worry about things the worse off you are. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why I'm 69 years old, I got a good head of hair, you don't see any gray hairs, and you might find four or five, and that's all. Uh -huh. So am I, am I a worrier then? Is that what happened here? Yeah, you, you've, been, you've been worrying too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you about Maybe that. <laughs> I never worried about money. If I had money, it was good. If I didn't have it, it was still good. I worried more you can look at me and tell, but I worried more about something to eat and a cold beer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Speaking about that money, a lot of people worry about money. Is there, is there anything there you can tell people? I made money, money didn't make me. Mm -hmm. And I never did care. You know, I made money, I've made lots of money. But when I made it, I, went, I spent it. I had a good time. I had a good time while I was young. It's just like old fella told me one time, he said, Skeeter, I was driving trucks. I drove trucks for quite a few years. And I, I told him that I passed a place in Mississippi. They made hams and stuff like that, you know? And I was aggravated with myself because I didn't, I passed that a couple of times and saw the place, but I wanted to stop and get me some ham, see how it was, you know? I'm good for trying things out, you know? I try it once, sometimes twice. He boy said, let me tell you something. He said, if you see a place like that, something you want to do or something you want to eat, you know, and you got the money in your pocket, go for it. Because he said you might die tomorrow, not have done it, you know, and you're going to miss out on that, you know. And I always say, Skid, if you could do it over again, I'd say 90% uh, of it I'd do it just like I did it. Again. So no regrets? No. 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 I got a question here from a guy named Steven, and he asks, what do you look for in a good woman? A lot. Okay. A lot. Mm -hmm. I like the looks, um, friendship, friendliness, not being arrogant and not think she's the best looking woman in the world. Mm -hmm. Anytime I look at one, I think they're all the best looking woman in the world. But I want somebody that's pleasant, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, that, that, that doesn't mind giving a little and taking a little. And what about people who are going through tough times? I had one person ask me that, uh, who was going through a tough time and they wanted to hear you talk about getting through tough times. Well, let me tell you something about a tough time. I've been through some tough times and what have you, but there's always someone that you can talk to that's been through a tougher time than you. Mm -hmm. Look around, don't do nothing stupid. You know, if you're depressed, you're not happy about something, you got a friend, you got somebody you can go talk to. Go share your thoughts. On that same vein, so what, what is being a real man to you? 
What, what are the responsibilities of a real man? Ooh, there's a lot. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say all of them was. I guess uh, taking care of your family, responsibility to your family, if you've got a family, seeing about your family, you know, and, and, and taking care of your good friends. If they need, if I got money and they need it, they got it. Mm -hmm. If I can go help them do something, you know, if they need to do something uh, around the house, you know, things or go somewhere or something, and I go bring them, I go, I go. So do you think it's important for a man to know how to cook? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> a lot of guys don't know how, and I don't know, it's like, uh, they kind of, not say don't want to learn, but they, they not, uh, don't want to put themselves out there to sometimes let people know that they don't know how to cook. That's it. That's it right They're there. Bit, because uh, people are afraid to make mistakes. Y yeah. And if you make yeah. a mistake cooking, everyone knows because they got to eat it, right? Well, if I make a mistake cooking something, I throw it away and start over. <laughs> go, back to the, go back to the drawing board. Uh -huh. I mean, Cajun, of course, is the culture here. It's people. But like, what, what does it mean to be Cajun? Good food. Good people, good friends, good camaraderie, and good bullshit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I feel you. It's true. You know, you'll see that around here. You'll see that, uh -huh. you know, as you go. Be good. Be good. Yeah. And uh, then don't drink. Don't drink. Oh, no, you can drink. This wussy oh, stuff, right? drink what you Drink whatever you want. Drink sociable. <laughs> drink sociable. Drink cheers. Drink sociable. <laughs> yeah. Squirrel, cheers, man. <laughs> here's to you, and here's to me. But if we should happen to disagree, the heck with you and here's to me. <laughs> Skeeter's good friend Squirrel arrives and says he has a few things to add. It's all good in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's right. And there ain't Applebee's around here. So, we turn the camera on him. Yeah, introduce yourself. Who you are, what you do. <laughs> oh, well, they call me Squirrel, my nickname. My name's Michael Bim. I do uh, almost like shoots absolutely nothing but what I want to do because I'm retired. And uh, I just try to live off the land as much as I can. And were you born here? Oh, yeah. Born here and die here? Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> I've been other places, but it looks like home is the best place. In all the world, my nest is the best. <laughs> it is, it's the best place here. You guys have experienced a lot, been through a lot, right? So, any advice you'd give these people? The main thing is give those people advice is do something that you like to do uh -huh. for your life for the whole line of it, all the way to go for your family and everybody that, but you gotta be happy. And why is that important? Because it's important for your health. Mm -hmm. You healthy, you happy. You happy, you healthy. You know, you, you do what you like, get you a job that you like. If you don't like it, you're miserable. You just soon, how to say that, not have a job. Yeah. But you gotta have money, so, you know. <laughs> money makes the world go round. But some, some people say, uh, they don't need it, but you have to have it. If money's not the most important thing in life, what is the most important thing in life? Like I said, to be happy and do what you like. Let's say there's someone who can't find something they like to do. They're not quite sure, and they don't got a job, they're unhappy. What, what would you say to them? They got some place for everybody. They got a spot for you somewhere. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I can tell them, just figure it out. You, if you're not happy, go do something. See, if that don't make you happy, if it don't make you happy, keep moving, do something else. Mm -hmm. How do you find a good woman? Now, that's a hard question, you know. <laughs> <laughs> First off, you gotta be tough. And you find a good woman, you gotta, they, you gotta be honest. So you have to be honest with them too. That's the main way, to be honest with someone. When you got a good woman, you probably got some good problems. <laughs> <laughs> and for the guys out there who are, who are bachelors, should they be striving to find a woman or just Kicking back, working on themselves. They just ought to go with the flow. I say, catch the girl, go with it. You know, you might catch the girl. Yeah, catch the girl, bro. And that's <laughs> like catch the wave. You go, you'll find one, someone. I mean, you could find a, you know, not a good woman, but at closing time at 12 o'clock around the ballrooms, you'll find one. I promise you. <laughs> How about some advice for uh, some people going through tough times? I know a lot of us have kind of been. Locked inside for a couple of years now. We're in our heads too much. Get next to nature. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can't be going through that hard of time. Today I put some seeds in there, a little bit, with little tomato seeds and some Congo watermelons I planted today. Hey, hopefully the good Lord will let them come up and I'll have me something to eat. And it ain't gonna be that uh, bad at times when I can pick me a big red tomato or a big old red watermelon. You know, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. What's the most important thing about being a man then? 
If what's a good man? What what is what is what are his responsibilities? His family. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. Your family and 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 you you have to a lot of people you have to pray. Pray to pray pray, 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 pray to God. Pray every day mm -hmm. that 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 tomorrow will be a, a, a blessed day for you. Mm -hmm. You know, and they say every day above ground is a blessed day. Yeah, that's so, true. Mm -hmm. You know, I I'm glad to be alive and do what I do still do what I can do when I was younger. And what were you doing when you were like 25, 30? I was hunting and fishing. Frog hunting, uh -huh. duck hunting, deer hunting, doing everything I could do, and, and made a garden way back then. That my, my people taught me that. My grandfather and them, they had to grow stuff to eat. They were sharecroppers back then. They talk about people didn't have it. They didn't. They 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 worked on a percentage, and 90 percent of it went to the hand that they was renting the land from and the, getting the seeds for them and everything. If they made a crop, they came out. If they didn't make a crop, they owed. Mm. <laughs> The old saying is, hi ho, hi ho, off to work I go. <laughs> you gotta go to work, because if you want something, it's gonna cost you. And what are kids getting wrong these days? Too much electronics. Too much electronics. Like this thing right here. Like this one in my pocket. I think you gotta have that in this world, but you gotta set aside that. When you using it to, to work or do something, that's fine. But as for playing and Pressing your fingers, you'll get whatever the carpal syndrome to doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what happens if people don't go outside? Well, they become a, a what they, I brought some potatoes, I gotta unload them. They, they become a couch potato and they don't wanna do nothing. Mm -hmm. but, but watch that TV and whatever. As for TV, that's fine if, uh, if you wanna watch the news, which is all bad news, so who wants to watch all that bad stuff? Just soon turn the TV off and go outside and look at the real world. And I see him way over there, that squirrel. You see him, Skeeter? You see him? Is see that, that oak way over there? Is that good eating? The squirrel? It's, oh, is it? That's, that's the meat that people used to use. I have. We didn't have all that other stuff. How do you cook a squirrel? Oh, you cook that in a brown gravy. You can drop that in a gumbo. You can, you know. It's, a lot of people, they, they think, oh, this is a big tree rat. But he's a good, he, a squirrel is good eating. Is, is squirrel good eating, Skeeter? That good. squirrel is very, very good eating. Like I said, if it's cooked right, Take your time, cook it slow, season it right with your spices. It's going to be right every time. You can't cook, you can't lose with it in a brown gravy, like Mike said, a gumbo, uh, uh, you know, a, a young tender squirrel. If you get a little young squirrel, you can even fry it, chicken fry, like chicken. Mm. But it's got to be a young, like a real small, you know? Mm -hmm. Most of them, you got to let them cook a little while. You brown them up. And Never had squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel brain is good, bro. That's squirrel brain good? Yeah. I've had, I've, had, I've, had cow, I've had cow brain. Yeah, well. Cow brain. Calf, calf, calf brain is what yeah, I've had, yeah. yeah. Well, I have a little uncle. He used to eat that in, in the morning for breakfast with scrambled eggs. Squirrel brain or calf no, brain? No, calf brain. Ah, uh, but squirrel brain is good, too. Oh, uh, Uncle Nation loved that. I went one time with this one hand. You know, you got to know how to clean that. You cut all the eyebrows, you pop the eyeballs, you cut. Some people eat the tongue and they eat this part of it. Me, I'm more of a brain man. Well, there we go. Next time we'll cook squirrel brains for breakfast and bring Skeeter some Maine lobsters to cook Cajun style. If you like this video, make sure to check out Asking Life's Toughest Questions to Hadzabe hunter-gatherers in Africa. I apologize in advance to the vegans. What's the most important thing in life. Manaku. Yeah, Manaku. Yeah. If you'd like to watch the full uncut interviews with Skeeter and Squirrel, they're now on my Patreon. Just figure out what you're doing and what you're doing wrong. You gotta better figure it out your damn self because uh, if you don't know that, you know, if you can't figure that out, well, you, you're gonna catch hell, my brother. You're gonna catch hell find a woman. It's all on Patreon. Thanks for watching. And dragons, chase your fears.